that a little better? Okay. Technologist Todd Schaefer helps patients who's in flux get positioned for a painless and breakthrough brain scan while husband Gary looks on. Now it's not going to go this fast. A huge camera using a new technology approved just this year by the FDA will methodically take pictures of Suzanne's brain to determine if she suffers from Parkinson's. The test is called a DAT scan, and the University of Kansas Hospital is the first in the region to offer it. Earlier, Suzanne was injected with a radioactive isotope that will reflect activity in certain parts of her brain. It's lights out, and the test begins. From a patient's perspective, probably the worst thing about diseases is not knowing. Suzanne has suffered symptoms for three years. This test offers the first conclusive evidence for doctors to determine the cause of her tremors. Time passes. Suzanne lies very still. Are you doing okay, Suzanne? Yes. She is the eighth patient to take the test here at the University of Kansas Hospital. Radiology doctor Reginald Dusen is enthusiastic about this new diagnostic tool. You can actually gauge the function of a, of a gland or area of the, of the brain, and that's a huge step forward. Now what's your head? Let me sit up. A half hour later, Suzanne says, no matter the diagnosis, it's better than not knowing. This is the first definitive test we've taken, so I think that part of it is really, really great. Dr. Dusing explains that in a healthy patient, the radioisotope will light up two sections that resemble big commas. The shape and size of those commas reflect dopamine levels in the brain, the chemical necessary to control body movement. Knowing the diagnosis, and you're then able to, to pick the right medicines to treat the patient with, and those symptoms uh, can be uh, controlled with proper medication. Wait a moment. Suzanne and Gary are grateful for the test, which answered their questions about her illness. At the University of Kansas Hospital, I'm Joel Chadwick.